the Ukrainian army is progressing in attacks nearer to the eastern city, according to Ukrainian commanders. Even though the battle has only slightly shifted the front line, it has nonetheless exposed gaps, a state of alarm, and confusion among Russia's fighting military forces. In order to defend themselves against Ukraine, Russian forces were forced to fortify the city, which forced them to make a difficult strategic decision and caused new resentment among Russian commanders. In advance of a hotly anticipated counter-offensive against Russian forces, senior US and European military officials reported that Ukrainian forces have started making operational preparations. Similar airstrikes were used to set the scene in the southern and northern regions of Ukraine before the country's counter-offensive was launched early last summer. Since last July, Russia has been unable to conquer a Ukrainian city, but despite suffering severe losses, it has continued its advance into the eastern city. By rearranging the battlefield, attacks on control centers, heavy weapons, and artillery systems aid in the advancement of forces. Prior to considerable combined operations, it was a common tactic. President Zelensky of Ukraine claims that his nation still requires a little more time before launching the counteroffensive in order to permit more of the Western military aid that has been promised to enter the nation. Operations for shaping can be carried out to perplex the opposition. One of the worst days for the Russian Air Force since the start of the Ukraine war may have just passed. In verified reports state that four of its aircraft were downed on Russian soil, which would be a major victory for Ukraine. Kharkiv had almost no time to plan their offensive last summer it happened quickly. In a report detailing the tumultuous situation in the east that was released on Sunday, the high command of the Ukrainian armed forces claimed that Kiev's forces were heavily pressuring Russian fighters and looking for weaknesses in their defenses. The Russian military reportedly carried out nearly 23 airstrikes the day before. According to the Ukrainian military, as intense fighting increased the pressure on Russian places to the west of the town. Although Ukrainian advances only penetrated the largest bulge of Russian defenses this week by a distance of about three miles, the victory undid what Moscow's forces had painstakingly accumulated over several months. According to the Ukrainian military, Russian forces are moving closer to Bahamut and have lately conducted several airstrikes nearby. However, the general staff reports that Ukrainian forces have succeeded in regaining some ground by taking advantage of openings in the Russian side to the south and west of the city.